On this fishing adventure, we head to the far north of New Zealand, a place of beautiful beaches and great fishing. Hi and welcome to this episode of Fishing with Jim and it's day three of rock fishing and the snapper fest. To be honest, I'm starting to get a bit weary. I was out here last night as well fishing. Uh, fishing's actually been really good, catching lots of fish. Also saw some orca, which is amazing, so you can check that out on the other video. Uh, but we're going to go out now and uh, hit the rocks and hopefully catch some snapper. It's overcast, which is great, and it's just the bottom of the tide, so conditions are perfect for snapper fishing. So we will see you soon on the rocks with some fishing action. Just a little bit of a uh, walk out to the spot. A uh, bit of rock, rock walk, so you've got to have your uh, wits about you, otherwise you'll slip over and hurt yourself. So, uh, especially first thing in the morning when you're uh, only out of bed for uh, half an hour or so. It's a good, uh, good opportunity to focus your brain so that you don't end up falling over and hurting yourself. Shot. I thought that was very big. Very big. No. Okay. Sometimes it's very hard to tell with the small small bites. And it'll pop up in a minute is a, a little seal. Hello. Hello little seal. Wow, that's the first time I've ever seen a seal here. So that is very cool, wonder where he is. There he is, he's just over there. He'll pop up in a minute. Well, there's been a lot of wildlife here this time around. There he is, we can see him. Hello, do you want a fish? Should we throw him a fish? I think we'll throw him a fish. We'll see what happens. Let's see if he goes over. Will he take the fish? Mm. Well, that is very cool. There's obviously a lot of fish here if he's just uh, cruising around. And saw all the uh, bait fish come out of the water uh, when he was cruising past. Wow, there you go. Seal encounter on Jim's Fishing with Jim. And this morning is overcast. It's, uh, the breeze hasn't come up yet, which is great. So uh, fishing conditions are ideal. Uh, being overcast, some of the bigger fish tend to come into shallower waters as well, which is great. And we've already seen a baby seal swim pass, which is the first time we've ever seen one of those here. So that was uh, very cool. And we're fishing again with pilchards, and uh, we've got a, a double hook and keeper rig on. And it looks like we're about to um, hook up, hopefully, in the next minute or two. We've just got uh, a fish out there uh, having a go at our baits. So we'll see what happens. Oh, we got there. Thought we might have fail hooked. A very small snapper. There you go, little baby snapper. Fish on. It's not very big. 
actually it's a little sniper, right? Where are the bigger fish, eh? Where's your mummy and daddy? I'll throw you back. There you go. Don't know if you can see them, but uh, just over there, above the, the rock there, is the seal. And he's uh, keeping an eye on us by the look of it. Maybe he's uh, keen for some fresh fish. Might be a slightly bit on. Oh, get out of there. Oh man. Little mongrel. This one under that rock shelf there. Really. That one might actually be worth keeping, I think. Just about. Go, Trelly. Fish on. I think it's a snapper. I'm not 100% certain, but it feels like it. Taken on the circle hook. Fish on. fish and a big chunk of weed. Oh, it's another Trevally I think. Oh, only a little one. Oh, what a mess. I think that might be another Trevally. Obviously, quite a few trevally out there at the moment. Oh. They're getting bigger though. That's a nice sized fish. Oh, 
Man, this is really good fish. Right, hopefully we can actually land this one. So this is a good size snapper. Come on, baby. Oh yeah. That's what we're talking about. Oh, another beautiful snapper. Check out that fish. That's awesome. And caught on the keeper hook again. Wow, that's pretty amazing. A little hook for a big fish. Look at that, awesome. What's your favorite rock fishing spot? Have you got a wee spot at home that you love fishing from? And does it produce lots of fish? I'd love to know if you've got a favorite spot. You don't have to tell me where it is, but uh, if you've got a spot that you love to fish, leave your comments below. And if this is your first time to fishing with Jim, then I invite you to subscribe for more fishing action and fishing adventures. Thanks for watching Fishing with Jim.